Thousands dead and tens of thousands injured and displaced. Rapes, executions, child trafficking, torture, massacre. These are some of the horrific war crimes in Ukraine. Is Vladimir Putin a war criminal? Are Ukrainian forces committing crimes too? In this episode of Dark World, we look at the war crimes in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Ukraine has accused Russian soldiers of raping and gang raping women, children and men. Russian soldiers have allegedly used sexual violence as a deliberate war tactic. A spree of sexual violence in the Brovary district. Two Russian soldiers accused of raping a four-year-old girl and gang raping her mother in front of her father. In Kiev, a 50-year-old woman accused a Chechen fighter allied with Russia of raping her at gunpoint. And four other soldiers were accused of killing her husband. The International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant against Vladimir Putin. He is held responsible for the alleged deportation of children from occupied areas of Ukraine to Russia. It is forbidden by international law for occupied powers to transfer civilians from the territory they live in to other territories. Children fleeing the Ukraine war are at risk of exploitation including sex trafficking. This is purely because traffickers exploit the chaos of large-scale population movements. Russia has allegedly violated international human rights law. Russian mercenaries, primarily the Wagner Group, are behind many of these crimes. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the Wagner chief, has played an increasingly visible role in the Ukraine war. Wagner fighters allegedly tortured and killed civilians in Kiev in April 2022 and massacred civilians in Bucha in March 2022. Though Ukraine has been portrayed as a victim in the ongoing war, there are allegations of crimes committed by its forces. Most of these crimes are against Russian officers and prisoners of war. Amnesty International reported that the Ukrainian military tactics have put civilians in danger. The Human Rights Watch meanwhile reported the abuse of Russian prisoners of war by Ukrainian fighters. Ukrainian President Zelensky announced a probe into these crimes. And Ukraine's Western allies remain silent on the crimes committed by Ukrainian forces. The war in Ukraine rages on and war crimes continue. But even war has rules. So will Russia and Ukraine probe the crimes committed or will they still go on? What are your thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments.